Hello Virgo, welcome to my channel. Uh, this is going to be for a uh, general reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Remember to take what resonates, leave the rest behind. I pulled your cards, meditated, and I feel like I'm doing a love reading more so for you than you and Leo than anybody. So we're going to go through this, and it looks like you got a Pisces you're dealing with because you got so much water on the board and you got the Pisces card so we'll see maybe a cancer all right this is your all-around energy somebody's offering their cup of love here and whatever the situation may be okay and like I said the energies can be exchanged this could be the other person if you're if you're thinking about it this looks like somebody's thinking about a specific person so, or maybe two people. We'll see. All right, so we got um, the Ten of Wands is where you're at now. You're dropping these burdens. You're over it. Whatever it is, you're dropping it. Okay? And the Wheel of Fortune is what's crossing you. So this is a good omen. This is, this is, uh, that wheel can go both ways, but you know, you, you can push it either way if you want to. Um, so that's what's crossing you right now. It's kind of a tug of war. Before, after. Let's, let's go through the distant past. We have, uh, you not seeing something about a four of wands, which is the happy home. So somebody didn't see something that possibly involved a home situation. In the most recent past, this is just how they came out, guys, so I'm just reading them. We got a Queen of Cups here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We got a King of Swords here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And we got an Emperor here, an Aries. So these could be either any of these signs, or they could be three different people. One's a boss. This could be you. Okay? The other is a possible king of swords which could be an air sign and the king of swords don't play okay and they're not gender specific so just uh realize that that could be a man and that could be a woman all right and then there's that queen of cups so this could be you and two other people and this is the most recent past. The best possible outcome, you got the Seven of Wands. So, keeping your guard up. Staying on the defense. Keeping the high ground. That's what you got for the best possible outcome. In the immediate future, you got an Ace of Cups here. So, this is a new beginning in love. Could represent... Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Again, all cups are water energy. Okay? So this is in your immediate future. Factors affecting this situation is somebody is just playing. Somebody's not serious. This is my player card. So this could be you. This could be the other person. You're just... You're playing or they're playing. Okay? This is, this is factors affecting the situation. And the outside fluence is the moon. Cancer or Pisces. Um, some things are hidden from your sight. You can't quite make them out just now. You're gonna have to you're gonna have to wait until things are unfolded. Because the moon hides things behind the veil. Alright? Hopes and fears. Nine of swords. Being all up in your head. Because this is nobody else but you. Alright. Final outcome. Is the two of cups and judgment. So you got. Two. 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 On the board. No wait a minute. No you don't. You got the. 
you got the two of cups, the page of cups, the case of cups, <laughs> the queen of cups. So, I mean, the moon, your ending is the two of cups and it's a judgment and it's in your favor. Okay. So that's not an unhappy card there. Everybody's celebrating. So at the end of this, a judgment's been made about this two of cups. All right. And it should be everything you ever dreamed of. That was absolutely a beautiful ending to whatever this story is. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed that. I did. Um, you, for the angel oracles, you got giving and receiving and it's acceptance. Let's read this to you. The entire universe operates in cycles similar to your inhalations and exhalations. Spit it out. When you only exhale, give, or only inhale, receive, you become out of tune with the universe. For optimal health, energy, and replenishment, balance each inhalation of your life with an exhalation. And then you got acceptance. It says, see yourself and others through the eyes of the angels with unconditional love and acceptance. In this way, you inspire and lift everyone to their highest potential. Okay. These are your messages from the angels, all right? Then we got the fire prints. Sorry, I don't have it ready. But I'll look it up real quick. It'll only take a second. Fire prints. Ooh, that's one, one, one. One eleven. There it is. You got that upright, and it's uh, optimism and aggression. Envision the path of the highest good with an optimistic outlook. Come on. The fire prince also brings you a gift of a miracle. Things come together as if by magic to create the reality you seek. You have every reason to be hopeful. Move forward knowing that you're, you have everything you need and, and more. Just remember to share the enthusiasm, believe in others, and be optimistic for them too. And your good fortune will multiply. Yay! Beautiful. This is a beautiful reading. Then for your soul card, we got Perpetua, which is the saint of authenticity. I am my authentic self in all circumstances. And basically this, this card tells you that that's all you need to be is the authentic person that you are. You don't have to play it up for nobody because you are who you are and you're proud of that. Okay. And for your romance angels, we got keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. And we got stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. And that, I mean, I see it. I see it. It's beautiful. I hope you enjoyed that reading. Please like, subscribe, and share if you did. And I will see you next time. Okay? Take care. Bye for now.